car. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to put in a upper ball joint on the driver's side on a 94 Mercury Cougar. There's only three bolts that hold the swing arm on. Well, there's two right here. There's one right there. It's under the fuse box, actually, and you'll have to probably take the jug out, which is only an 8 millimeter. here and here and here. There's three bolts you'll have to take out. When you pull up the fuse box, you have to push in these little clips toward the body of it and pull the tester, the ECU tester, Just it'll, it'll just pop right out. So you take that off, take this bolt, this bolt, and this bolt to the jug off. These two bolts out, and then unhook the steering knuckle from the ball joint right here. And that is 18. These three are 18. These are eights. Uh, once these are out, and you can move the jug freely, you push these clips in and pull this up at least enough out of the way so you can get to this bolt right here with a socket wrench or, a, or just a wrench. But if you have a wrench, you're going to have to have another one behind it to give you some more leverage on it because they're pretty tight. Once these right here are loose, it should, it'll probably be wedged in a little bit because it's been on there for a while, but you can hammer it out just, just tapping on it. This one's an 18 too, but it's just kind of hard to get to. You barely have any, any room here to get a twist on it. You'll probably get about a quarter of a turn each time. When you got those out, there's two screws right in here that should just come out. You'll probably have to twist them and turn them to get them out, but they'll come out. These are 15 millimeters. Now you can tap them out with a hammer or a mallet, or preferably a mallet so it doesn't damage the metal. Just hammer it out. Both hinges will pop out and this will be just loose to hang down and then take this one right here off on the ball joint. You may want to go ahead and probably try to loosen this bolt right here. That way these will be a lot easier to get out because it's hard to get in there and get them to kind of come through. They, don't, they just don't want to come out but you can get them out there no problem just to tap on them and if you have a if you can get in there actually with something small and be able to tap it out and get a hold of them with suppliers let's get that off Let's see if i can get it right here to see now because it's in just tap it out now this should be loose enough to be able to get those two hinges out look how bad this ball joint was <laughs> damn Surprised the wheel didn't come off. It already did down here. I had to put another one on. All right, once these two pins come out, basically they're hinges. This right here keeps it from twisting right up towards here. All right, once you get those out, you have to get this. You can hammer something, a winch, uh, wedge in here and spread it apart and probably hit, the, hit it out with a hammer or just hit it out with a hammer if you need to. See, once you get everything apart, you get these, you'll basically end up with this. Steering knuckles loose from the top. And just, all you gotta do is pull this beast right here out and put the other one in and reverse what you just pretty much done through this. And uh, it's not too hard, except for the fact this thing is just in here really, really good. Damn. This thing's in real bad shape, golly. Look at that. Yeah, it would still last a little while though, surprisingly, but it is hard to drive when it wants to slide all over the road and steer everywhere. Now, take your new one, put it up in here, and let's put this one in here. Once you get the hinges up in there, don't tighten them yet, just put them up, up there so you can keep it in position. When you slide the ball joint down on here, there's a groove right in the middle. And that's where the screw is going to come through here at. So make sure you get it right down to the right spot and then put the screw through. It'd also probably be a good idea to go ahead and throw your grease in it too. Instead of just waiting until you're done. I mean, go ahead and while it's out, it's probably a lot easier to do instead of waiting until after you get done. And once you get it just right, you can put the screw through it. Got it in there and just go ahead and just tighten it up. Remember this is at 18. Go ahead and tighten up the top. These are 18s, remember that. 
All right, once you get those two bolts in, put your fuse box back down. Ball joint, and I say ball joint and not control arm because if you have to change the ball joint, you have to change the control arm too. So it shouldn't take them, you know, 45 minutes. If you watch the video and got all your tools sorted out, you already know, you know, and then kind of know where to go from there, but it shouldn't take 45 minutes to an hour. And then the next video I do would probably most likely be putting the ignition switch in a 97 Camaro. Got the wheel out, but I need to give me a puller. So we'll check out.